Okay guys, this is our pumpkin patch that we're going to be doing. And we got it towed up. I ran over it about four four times today. And it looks pretty decent for the most part. The one thing I'm thinking I need to run the uh, I need to run little John over it to get all the grass off. And most of it is um, most of it most of the grass that you see over there is actually on top. However, I do need to run over it a few more times with the tiller uh, because I'm just now on this side getting down to getting down to the sod area. But I need to run it. Run over it with little John to get to get um, to get the grass off and stuff like that. So, and you can tell this part right here that turned out really good. And it's actually if you dug down, you could dig down about eight inches, nine inches, right there. It's about four inch depth right now, but it's probably eight inches. It just Settle to four. Now the burn piles that so you can see every so often. Right there, you can tell we burned there, and you can tell we burned there, and up there, up there, right there, and right there. So let's go over and check out the garden. Right here. Arvin was digging some stuff up and he found, and he came to me and said, do you want to dig it up or do you want me to dig up the dead body? <laughs> so, I don't know, he found a, some belts or something, some really old ones about right there. Uh, okay, here is the apple trees that we got. We got a pink lady and that should grow what, eight, 8 to 12 feet tall, and they're both actually about 8 feet and 12 feet tall, so they're not that big. But this is what we did with the garden. We got, right here are our um, tomatoes, and in the back we have peppers. At least I hope they are. And we got five, five and a half rows of potatoes right here. And a few weeks we'll be, you know, we'll see which potatoes comes up. And we have some. Oh, uh, they need water. They'll get water tonight. And tonight it's going to rain, going to get about an inch of rain tonight. And right here are Arvin's asparagus that he planted. We planted how many? Six? Six of them. That's Six enough. of them right there. That'll give you plenty of asparagus. And right here, the fence line right there, all the way down here, we planted cucumbers. And in here, we planted some bean, uh, green, beans green beans, and what? Onions too. On, onions and green beans, right here, and we planted onions up there too. Some onions up there, up there. Okay, this line right here. I could walk here. Yeah, this is a walking area, right here between the peppers and the corn right here. We have that whole whole row of corn, which one row is estimated about 40 feet, 45 feet. And then those are, we got onions right there where that stake is, going all the way to this stake. 
and maybe further, I don't know. Arvin was planting the onions, I'm not sure where where he stopped and began, but we'll see. And we got a little bit here. And over there. And those humps right there will be watermelon. We got a lot of these leaves falling off this tree. It's pretty windy, or it was windy. So we got all these leaves falling off the tree and landing in the garden. Those leaves were not anything coming up. So. And we got. And then we got right here. We got blueberry bushes. Which I made a till right here. And till those up. Good. You're on. Yeah. I'm going to have me some apples in a few years. <laughs> a few years, yeah. yeah. Maybe three, four years. Yeah. Maybe at least four years. By the time your Christmas trees grow, there'll be apples here. All right, all right. Yeah. Get a free apple with a Christmas tree, eh? Yeah. Get a free apple with a Christmas tree you buy. <laughs> Maybe we could think of some kind of fruit arrangement or something for Christmas. Uh, we got, and in the back right over there will be where the Christmas trees will be. And actually way back over by that tree. That right there is about 600 feet. That house. That big house back there is about 600 feet away. And we got a field right there, about an acre and a quarter, acre, acre and 1.3 acres. And we got 1.9, almost two acres right there. We got um, this area up here is not measured. I, we didn't measure it within, but add another quarter of an acre for this right in here. And the house from the road right there all the way down to, oh, it's kind of hard to see. But that tree right there, and all the way over uh, on the other side of the garage right here, that's now coming into view, on the other side of that, and that up to the street, is about an acre where the house sits. So we have about, uh, about three acres of farmable land. Okay, this is the well, and we're just trying to see if there's any electric in in the plug here. I don't think so. But I don't think there is. I think no. the wiring went to the Elf's workshop and it was cut off in there, and so there's no there's no electric out here at the well. No, no all, electric. No electric. So it'll have to be all re-hooked up again, but we'll run outside wiring that can be buried in a pipe over oh, here to cool. the well and use, they just used a regular old box and they didn't um, use, use <laughs> no outside boxes or no nothing. outside boxes. So that's all got to be changed. So, so I do not know where that wire goes unless we dig it up. And um, accordingly, on the well here, there's a faucet here on this side, that's in the front, and there's a faucet here in the back, and then there's this white wire, and it goes down into the ground and heads toward the Elf's workshop. So that's all got to be changed. So we'll just let that be at that and uh, sign off for right now. Bye bye. Alright, Cindy. 
These are the plants that we're going to send you. We're going to, after they bloom, we're going to dig them up and send them to you. And yeah, might even dig up that tree root if you can. And uh, we got some over here. Got some white ones across the fence there too. Those are wildflowers. Yeah, those are wildflowers. Yeah. We got those. It's already, the, they're brown top because they got nipped uh, by the cold air. And then we got those. They're not uh, elephant ear or banana plant. They're just something. Look like somebody's been eating on them. <laughs> that one. Maybe we got a bunny eating on it or something. Right there. And uh, that bush right there, that's coming out. We got way too many. This tree leaning up here. That's coming out, and that one's coming out right there. We might, we're gonna leave a couple of them, but those two by the archway, those are coming out, and that thing's coming out. That other tree on the other side, those are coming out. They're both leaning. This one is pretty good, so we're probably gonna keep that. And this one right here is leaning over the garage, so we're probably gonna take that down. That one, right to your light, right. This one, we might take it down. That's leaning though, so I don't know. It might be on the agenda to take down. But this one right here. That branch right there, we got a power line coming right underneath it, and we need to get rid of that. So, need to get it off the power line anyway. But we might keep this tree. Uh, it looks pretty healthy. Uh, we might keep it. Need, maybe need to trim up a couple of branches. Maybe you need to keep up a couple of branches, trim up a couple of branches. But uh, Arvin already says on Monday, this, these row of trees right here, as much as we get to, next week, they are coming down. All of them. This one just because it's dead. That one because it's leaning and it's half dead. Look, we got a branch just hanging out. Prob that branch was probably from that tree. But these are coming out because we need sun over there. And right there is our is our pumpkin patch. And we gotta dig in here. Since we got a fence grown into the trees and hooked into something underneath the ground. So, we need to get rid of that fence. This tree is coming down. It's already split a few times. So, that tree is coming down. That tree right there is leaning. So, that's coming down. That tree's pretty much dead, so that one's coming down. This tree here is coming down, that's half dead, and it's got vines all over it, so. This tree right here is coming down. That tree right here, where Arvin found the dead guy, well, hmm. <laughs> dead part of a guy. Well, not really part, unless you call a belt the part. <laughs> okay. That tree's coming down. It's about ready to fall down anyway. 
<clears throat> this tree is coming down. That tree is coming down. That tree is coming down because it's in the way of our driveway. That tree right there is coming down because it's dead. That is coming down because it's messed up. It's messed up growth and we don't want a bush. We want a tree right there. That tree right there is coming down. Uh, that one right there we, we're probably going to keep. And I think we're going to take down that one. And the two, the two trees right there. There's one on the other side of the house. Those two are coming down. They're planted too close to the house. So. And also we got a bunch of firewood. Harvard's gotten all the wood from the trees we cut down over there. And a lot of these we're going to use firewood. Well, all of these in this pile are firewood.